So today we're going to install my water butt. And I've decided it's obviously got to be beside a drain pipe, which you can see right there. And I've got some old council slabs. So I've already dug a little bit at the end of my old patio. Um, dug out a bit of the muck, leveled it off, popped that huge council slab on. Don't think you can get this size anymore because of health and safety. Um, so that's not going anywhere. And then I will put my water butt onto that. And then I'll show you how to cut into the drain pipe because that's the scary bit. Right, so the stuff that comes with the water butt, um, and it came from getcarpetposting.com. I'll put the link up. Uh, your council may subsidize this. I can't remember exactly what I paid for all this. I think it was 40 pounds, 44 pounds, and that's delivered. And these can't be easy delivered. Had to wait a couple of weeks, but that's fine. The bits that come with it are obviously the lid parts to screw in to the actual water bottle, part of the rain diverter kit which comes with it because usually you pay 10 or 15 quid for those. This again is for the rain diverter kit and obviously the instructions. And you've got the lid itself, nice big lid. And down inside is the stand. It comes with it, pop it upside down. Than the bot itself so you very simply literally it's a hollow stand and it's actually the perfect size for this size pavement slab so i couldn't have planned that frankly um, then i just want to put the water butt on there and make sure it's located job done so here where the tap is, which comes with it, it's on the inside. So it's screwed on on the inside in the package and you have to delve right down into it to uh, get at it and redo it from the other side. It comes with a rubber washer obviously as well. So get that tightened up. Now, what you'll notice, you see this gap. There's quite a large gap here, but that's so that you can get whatever you want underneath. So you can put the end of a watering can sat under there and just let any water out into it so make sure it's facing that way because once it's full that would be an, an absolute devil to move i would imagine this is the sticker on the front be green etc etc five-year guarantee apparently water butt water butt stand rain diverter and obviously the tap oh yes and see here hose fit tap it's actually got a uh, like a hose lock or gardena fit um let me just get that. So here's my, from my actual water tap out the back garden. And uh, there you go, actually fits, that's beautiful. So granted, it would need to be a lot higher for any pressure, but even so, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty knacky. Whether I can use it for anything is another matter. Okay, so looking at the instructions, Obviously ensure the lid is off the water butt. If your water butt is not pre-drilled, you need to drill a 25 millimeter hole to fit the rain diverter. There is actually already two um, holes in it. I'll just show you. You can see there and there. So it'll just be a case of popping. I don't know if you can see it because it's dark. Popping these out. So I'm going to push this out. Just gonna need a bit of persuasion. But it is moving. Squeeze it and push it all the way around. Squeeze and push. And then finally, job done. That's a little blanking plug. That's my hole. So now I need to fit this, this, and the pipe. I'm just gonna turn the water box so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So the instructions there say to push it from the inside with the washer on the inside. So you've got to be careful with that. So that's this bit with the, it's like a sponge washer. So let's just put that there. That's very loose on there actually. And then 
being careful of the wind. Let's put that on there. Just make sure it's good and tight. Only needs to be hand tight. Don't, you know, good hand tight, but tight nonetheless. Don't use a wrench on it, for God's sake. I think that would knacker it. And then the next bit, have your tap forward. And as you can see, I've got plenty of pipe here. More than enough. Now it says a 30 millimeter section. So now it says part C, position your water bottle with the tap facing forward adjacent to the downpipe. If using a stand, place your butt on it, which I've done. A 30 millimeter section needs to be removed from the downpipe. Mark the drown pipe 10 millimeters below the top of the water butt. Mark against, oh, mark again 30 millimeters below this point. Using a hacksaw, cut this section. Ooh, okay. So what's below the top of the butt? I guess that's the actual lip, literally. Yes, that's what it looks like on this diagram. Okay. Right, I've got my spirit level, which I'm just literally going to use to... It's pretty level. And that is going to be my first mark here, using my faithful Sharpie. Excellent. So I'm happy there with that mark. Measure twice, cut once. So. Using a ruler slightly easier just because a tape measure is flexible and blows around in the wind. So whatever number I start at, I'm going to use 100 millimeter as my base. That's my mark. Millimeters. Make sure that the ruler is perpendicular and not off to one side. So I need a 10 millimeter plus another 30, making 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. That's it. So first cut has to be the here and second cut here. So cut, cut. I do not want to cut the very top one, otherwise. I believe it will actually overflow at some point. That's if in Bedfordshire we get enough rain. Okay. So this is like a mini bow saw hacksaw. And this will make it a lot easier than, a, you know, the small hand hacksaws. I'm sure a small hand hacksaw would probably do the job, but I don't actually think it would have enough depth. I wouldn't attempt this with anything other than a hacksaw blade. Don't use a wood cutting blade. It really will... It, well, it's likely to break the down pipe and shatter it. I'm just going to move my butt out of the way. My water butt, not my butt butt. So I can get at this. And hopefully not break anything. trick here is staying level as well. You don't want to cut off at an angle, so I'm using the pointing on the brickwork to actually, as my sort of marker, to keep my saw horizontal. It's not going to be perfect, but... Now, I've got quite... These are quite old drain pipes. This house has been stood about 30 years now. We were the first people to move into it, it was the show house. So these are original drain pipes. So when I've got very little left to cut at the, at the end, just go slower or more gently. Let the saw do the work. Okay. As they say, the first cut is the deepest. So. Now, 30 millimeters, just for clarity. 
measure twice, cut once, so let's start again at 100 mil. Down to 110, so 100 to 130. That's definitely 30 millimeters, as per the instructions. Okay. There's no going back now, really. There's a bit of an angle at the back, I have to say, but I don't think it'll be too much of a big deal, I'm hoping. I hope. Let's go back to our instructions now. Uh, so we've done our sawing D. Now we need to fit the end of our body with the square end upright into the cut section. Okay. This is the rain diverter. Okay. So we need to put it that way up, not that way up, that way up. Now on the inside, you can see, I hope you can see, it will, the circular bit will fill the inside of this. But what will actually happen is it will then, this should essentially seal on the inside of the top section, creating a puddle here. It's around about 20 mil deep. So there's a 20 mil ring up there. So then as that fills, it will then go into the spout and into the water bottle. Anything over that will just then overflow back into the bottom pipe. So that's essentially how these work, okay? It's not just a case of sticking a hole in the pipe and hoping it just come out that pipe instead of actually into your drainage. You need to get that into that and there's a gap because there's a little ridge about there to there. get into that gap so I have actually undone one of my clips at the bottom of the drain pipe ideally I should have probably undone another one further up because what has happened is at the top end of the drain pipe it's the whole thing slid down so now the drain pipe isn't connected at the top but that's okay this will give me enough room to maneuver this into place now by pushing it up, bringing it to one side. This is very careful. There we go. Okay. And then bringing it back down into place. There we go. There will of course be another challenge at the top end, but one thing at a time. So now I'm hoping you can see, if I use the lines of the bricks, you see there's a slight difference. So you can see that easily, can't you? So that's obviously so that the water flows downhill. What I don't want to do is put all this pipe on because it's gonna cause a absolute pain in the backside. It's just not gonna work properly because it'll curl down the bottom and all the water will stop there and it'll never flow in. So I just need to essentially cut this bit of pipe to the right length so that there's a slight downward trajectory. Using a Stanley knife, good old Stanley knife. All the makes are available. They're not as good, but they are available. Roughly measure how much you're going to want and cut it slightly longer is what I would say. Use whichever, wherever you've decided, cut it slightly longer. You can see this is less than half the tube. So you can see I've cut that much. I've still got plenty spare. I'm going to put it on the drain pipe first. And the reason for that is just because then, if I pop it on here, I can move the water bottle a little bit. I can shift that around. Actually, it's worth just looking down, making sure that's clear. Yeah, it is. Sometimes there's a bit of plastic stuck on the inside. What you can do is you can warm these up. 
and um, make it more pliable because it is quite cold today. It does take quite a bit of force and remember to push the water butt towards the drain pipe. Don't pull this otherwise you're going to break something. Okay and I'm happy with that. A little bit of flexibility there. That'll definitely flow downwards and we're done. I just need to do two more things. So tip number one, once you've finished, and this may seem like a stupid thing to do, but in fact, it's a very sensible thing to do. Put a gallon or two of water in the water butt, because currently this butt is empty. It's relatively windy at the moment. It's the middle of March, it's actually Mother's Day middle of March 2021 when you're watching or when I'm recording this I don't know when you're watching it and um, it's been quite blowy a lot of you guys have lost greenhouses a lot of people have lost a lot of pains I've been lucky where I am but it is quite a windy corner just here on this side of the house and uh, if I leave this empty I'm going to come out tomorrow and the butt is going to be halfway across the garden and uh, possibly my drain pipe will be broken and I'll be in for a very big bill so I'm just going to get a water can of water and fill it in. There we go. That's six litres, according to the Wilkinson Water and Can, it's six litres. So, and it's very bottom heavy, obviously, now. So there's no way that should... Um, cause any problems and that's it we're done oh I'll put the lid on because I suspect there's a way to do it yes you see these notches it actually is a big arrow for some reason but these notches they must there's three here too look. so I'm assuming I'm assuming that the lid goes on to the notches and it might even then twist. I'm not sure if it'll twist. Does it twist? Yeah, yes. so twist it about 90 degrees and it won't fall off. Yeah, good little design, man. I'm pleased with that. Okay, now I'm done. Just need to tidy away my tools and we're sorted. hope that this video has been of some use to some people and show you how easy it is to do one of these if you just take your time and uh, if you're interested in more of my gardening shenanigans you're very welcome to watch and uh, spend 10 minutes every so often on YouTube if you like you don't I'm not forcing anybody to subscribe or to watch these you get something from it good for you I get something from it just from making them so if nobody ever watched them I'm not that bothered. Anybody want to see my chickens? So whilst I tidy up, you can watch my chickens for a minute or two.